Hello, today we look at positive input ventilation, or a PIV. What is it, how does it work, and is it right for your home? So a positive input ventilation, or a PIV, is a way of introducing a controlled amount of fresh air into your home. So it's a box that usually sits in the loft of your house and it brings a small but consistent flow of air into the house. So the air is filtered and then it comes through a diffuser which is usually fitted on the landing ceiling. So PIVs can be very effective in houses and bungalows. But it's worth just pointing out what a PIV isn't. It's not an air conditioning system, it doesn't cool the air coming in, and it's not an air extraction system, it's an air input system. So the theory with a PIV is that it brings fresh air into the home, which creates a slight positive pressure, and this forces a stale air out of the nooks and crannies. So a PIV is a bit like turning on the fan in your car to the first setting. So whether you're sitting at traffic lights or driving down the motorway, the same amount of air is being brought into the car in theory. So PIVs can be extremely effective at dealing with condensation and mould because you get a very gentle but constant movement of air. And here's a typical example of a house with a PIV. Mr and Mrs Mould have two children and a dog. Several years ago they bought a house. The house was cold and needed some modernisation. So they bought new windows and doors, they replaced the coal fire with a gas fire. They had a conservatory built, a new shower fitted and improved the loft insulation. The house is now much warmer. But they start to notice there's a new problem. Condensation forms on the windows and some of the bedrooms are showing signs of mould. Mould is a particular problem in their son's room, their bedroom and in the bathroom. They think their son's asthma is getting worse and they wonder if this is because of the mould. So they decided to have a PIV installed. This brings fresh air from the loft into the house. To get the most benefit from the PIV, they have trickle vents fitted in the windows of the problem rooms. The fresh air from the PIV helps force out the stale air through the trickle vents. In the first few days after the work is complete, they notice the house feels much fresher. Over the next few weeks and months, the mould dies back and they notice their son's asthma symptoms are now less severe. So nothing in life is straightforward and PIVs are no exception, so there's a few things you should be aware of. So first, if your loft is poorly ventilated, then you might not want to bring that stale air into the house. So if the roof timbers are damp and the loft is quite airtight, we'd often suggest installing vents into the roof. So the vents will allow the roof timbers to dry out and the fresh air can then be brought into the house by the PIV. And the second thing is you probably, probably want to direct the fresh air from the PIV towards the problem rooms. So for example, let's say you have a sun with a bedroom on the north side of the house. The north side generally gets a mould problem before the south side. So we found that a good way to encourage airflow through that particular room is to install a trickle vent in the window of that room. So the fresh air from the PIV can then help push the stale air through the trickle vent. And sometimes we might also suggest trimming the bedroom door. If a door is tight to the carpet, when it's shut, it's effectively making that room a sealed box. So in summary, a PIV can be a very effective way at dealing with condensation and mould, but please bear in mind that your loft should be reasonably dry and well ventilated. And in my experience, they do work better when you're combining a PIV with other systems like trickle vents or like extract fans. And if somebody is suggesting that a PIV is the right solution for your home and they haven't checked the loft first, then you might want to ask them why. <laughs>